Pete Gustis here with SmallBusinessResourceCenter.com and Small Business Resource Center YouTube channel with an important update for the election. I try not to focus on this, but this is, of course, making a big impact in all of our lives as far as the stimulus, stock market, jobs, housing, everything is being affected by this right now. Um, so I'm going to have two updates that are pretty important. Um, update number one, the Department of Justice uh, crime chief for the elections actually resigned Monday after hours. Attorney General Barr said he was going to pursue election fraud and investigate this. And then basically the Richard Pelliger, I believe it is, he said he didn't agree with it. He didn't think there's any fraud. And then he resigned. Now, this to me has a red flag. I don't know what you guys would think. Uh, Feel free to put the comments below because the simple fact is if I was in charge and you told me to investigate something that I did not feel needed investigation, uh, basically I would just say, okay, you know, I don't really think it needs to be done, but sure, I'm getting paid to do the job. Let's do it. Um, this guy resigned. Now, my question is why would you resign unless there's something wrong, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm reading into this too much. What are your thoughts? Would you resign if your boss told you to do something that, and I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just saying something that probably has no consequence if if whether, if, if the person telling you to do it's wrong because you're still doing a job. And to be the devil's advocate for the Republican side, you gotta look at, all the investigations that were done on Trump with the Russia probe and all this stuff, this went on for three years. And that's a long time uh, to find no nothing. So um, in my opinion, the FBI spent, or, or whichever organization spent a lot of time investigating Trump for stuff that there was no proof or evidence. And now um, it might be backfiring on them. The, the people who investigated it, not because Trump did something wrong, because there's proof to the contrary. But in this instance, the person in charge of investigating election fraud quits, Richard Pellinger. So why would you resign if there's actually nothing wrong, despite the fact you saying, well, it doesn't have to be done. You just assign people to the job, get updates, do what you need to do, and work on anything else that needs to be done. But he resigned. On the other news with the election, it looks like some of the states. On other news with the election, it looks like some of the states actually are reversing news online stating that Biden won. According to reports, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, they're now showing uh that Biden's not winning. And this is only on some online reports. So the reason why I wanna make note of this is because Trump's team actually put in filings for election fraud and recount information in a lot of the major elections in a lot of states where they feel that there was the most fraud. That being said, you're looking at these states in some online polls showing that Biden has not won the election. So I don't know what's going to happen. I think it's going to be a, maybe a, a busy two months of what, I don't know, investigations going on or maybe month. Uh, it would be great if it only lasted a couple weeks, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. Comment below, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. It's Pete with the Small Business Resource Center. Have a great day.